Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve add binary, leak code number 67. So we're given two binary strings, A and B, and we need to return their sum as a binary string. So let's say that we had A is one, one, and B is one. If you were to add those together, you would get the result of one, zero, zero. So in decimal, this number would be three, this number would be one. So you'd get three plus one, which is equal to four. And this is how you'd represent four in binary. Okay, with these numbers here, we have one, zero, one, zero, which would be 10 in binary. We have one, zero, one, one, which is 11 in binary. So we should be getting 21. Here we get 16 plus four plus one. And so this is the binary string for 21. So let's say that this is A and B. What would these numbers actually be? This would be eight, and then we'd get four, two, and one. If you add those together, you're going to get a total of 15. And B is just going to be two. So ultimately, of course, you would want the normal result of just 17, which in binary would be represented as one, zero, 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 one, because you're gonna get a 16, and a one to make 17. So one technique would be to implement extremely normal binary addition, which would just be to do this. You would take the two numbers and add them and you would just work out how addition works normally. You would take the one and the zero, you'd get one. You'd take one and one, that is gonna make zero with a carryover of one. This would make one and one, which makes a zero with a carry of one. Again, one and one makes zero with a carry of one. So that's your answer right there. Now you could absolutely implement that. However, a more interesting version of the problem actually bans you from using addition at all. Basically meaning you would have to do this with just bitwise operations. And this next solution, there is probably zero way you're gonna come up with this yourself. So feel free just to watch this and I'll explain it as we go. So the idea behind this technique is basically using two different variables without the carry, as well as just the carry itself. Basically the point of addition is you keep in mind the carry. So while you're summing these things, while you take one and zero to get one, and then you do one and one, which makes zero, with a carry of one, this whole process is basically just combining these two things together, working without the carry, as well as keeping the carry in mind. However, it uses addition. To not use addition, we can actually just think about these two things individually via some very clever bitwise operations. So without the carry part, that actually turns out to just be an XOR, as we'll see. So this is a bitwise XOR. We would get one here, zero, one, and one. So this would be the sum without the carry. So we'd put that here, one, one, zero, one. Why is this the sum without the carry? Well, think about it. If we take one and zero, we get one. If we take one and one, we would get zero with a carry of one, but we ignore the carry and we just get one and zero makes one, one and zero makes one. And so this is that sum, but you do still need to keep in mind the carry. So to do that, to get the carry, it turns out it is actually an ampersand. So a bitwise and, and then after that you left shift one. You probably said, how would I come up with that? I have no idea how you would come up with that, that's just what it is. So if you were to do that here, you do an ampersand between these two, you're gonna get zero, one, zero, and zero. The left shift one is then going to shift this over, so it's going to move these over like this, and then we plug in a zero at the beginning. This is exactly what that carry is. You take one and one, you're gonna get your carry of one here, and so it is simply just that carry spot there. So this is our carry zero, one, zero, zero. After you figured out these two things, we then update both of these. So A is going to get updated to the without carry portion, and B is going to get updated just to be the carry portion. And then you just rinse and repeat this. So what we're going to do is take those two numbers here. We take one, one, zero, one. We're going to XOR that with zero, one, zero, zero. That is going to give us one, zero, zero, and one. So here's our sum without the carry. Again, one and zero makes one, zero and zero makes zero. One and one makes zero, but then ignore that carry carry, so one and zero makes one. So that is going to get placed down here, one, zero, zero, one. We're then going to ampersand these two things together and then left shift one. So this would be our carry. That would cause this to be zero, zero, one, and zero. We would left shift that and so our carry gets moved over to here. Again, let's see why that is the case. One and zero makes zero, there's no carry, zero and zero, no carry. One and one makes zero, and then you carry that over here to one. We are simply just looking at the carry and so that's a carry of one okay so we update our carry to be one zero zero and zero we update these two numbers over here so this is going to be one zero zero one this is going to be one zero 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 so we get one zero zero one we are going to xor that with one zero 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 this will give us our sum without the carry which is going to be one zero 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 so that updates this to be zero 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 one 
to get the carry, we are going to do our bitwise and left shift by one. That gives us zero, 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 and one. And then we left shift that one. Now what happens here is very tricky. Imagine here if we did have more space and you most likely would. We're probably using something like eight bit integers. So naturally they would probably look something like this instead. So this isn't actually going to just get pushed off. This is going to get pushed over like this and basically create space for a new digit. So this actually makes this new carry to be one zero 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 zero. And so we'll update these things here. So this is going to be zero. I'll give it another padded zero so it can match here. Zero 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 one and then one zero 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 zero. So let's do this again here. Zero 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 one and one zero 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 zero. If we XOR those two things together, this time we are going to get one zero 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 and one. Okay, so our without carry is going to be one zero 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 one. And then when you get the carry here, something wonderful happens, ampersand that, and then bitwise move left one. Here, we're going to get zero, 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 and zero. And whether you left shift that or not, we are still going to be left with a result of zero. So here, our carry is then going to be zero. We're going to update both of these. So this is going to be A, and then this is going to be B. And we actually stop this when our carry is zero because we're trying to add the without carry with the carry. So this means that we're done. Ultimately, we end up with the result of 10001, which is actually our desired number of 17 in decimal. Now it's kind of hard to think about the time complexity here, but it turns out to be big O of A plus B, where A is the number of digits in A and B is the number of digits in B. That's because it's kind of simulating the same sort of addition of just sliding over to the left and bringing your carries here. And the space complexity of this is pretty much constant. We don't really need to store anything. Now A and B are given as binary strings, but we're going to convert them to decimal just for the sake of doing our bitwise operations. So we'll do A and B is equal to the int of A and 2 and int of B and 2. So all this does is sets A equal to the decimal version of A and B to be the decimal version of B. Okay, then what we do is while we have B, so basically while there's no carry, we need to get our without carry portion is equal to the XOR of A and B. So that's A carrot B. And then the carry portion is A and B, so bitwise A and B, and then you need to left shift that one. And then we can update A and B at the same time. A is going to be without the carry, and B is going to be the carry itself. If you keep doing this operation, eventually that will do our sum. That's going to be stored as a decimal number, so we need to return the binary of A, and then you would need to get rid of this garbage that kind of shows up in Python. You need to write two colons so that you skip the zero B part. Now, as we saw, the time complexity complexity of this is going to be big O of A plus B, because as with normal addition, you're basically just going to go across those strings. And I would argue that the space complexity is constant because as you can see, we're not really storing anything. Now, again, this question is absolutely brutal. So don't kick yourself if you didn't get that solution. I hope this was helpful, guys. Check out algomap.io in the description if you haven't already and have a great day, guys. Bye bye.